Hi. Oh, Muslim. Guess what I discovered? It sounds like in Islam, uh, Shaitan or Satan is quite a character. Not only does he uh, get himself pregnant by putting his his uh, legs together and lays eggs, giving birth to little Satans, and not only does uh, he uh, can, can pee in your ear to keep you from hearing the the call to prayer, and not only does Satan fart to uh, keep from hearing the azan, the call to prayer, and not only does Satan sleep in the upper interior of your nose, uh, according to Muhammad, uh, it's Sahih Hadith, sleep in the upper interior of your, uh, up interior, interior of your nose, and uh, you can only wash them out, you can only get them out if you wash your nose three times, but, sounds like Satan's a bit gay also. I'll show you why. I'll show you why here. Okay, this is this is from a Christian prince. And he's a, a native Arabic speaker who uh, got his degree in studying Islam. Anyway, he says this here. Okay. Uh, but if you are looking for something new, uh, something maybe you never heard before, not just a copy-paste from each other, then it's better if you learn from someone who speaks Arabic. Uh, as an example here, this is a book, uh, the book, just to show the Muslims here, this is the book of Sunan al-Durami, and Sunan al-Durami is one of the Sunni book, which is considered as, as, a, as a Sahih Hadith too. Uh, uh, however, the Muslims, they list, they, they have ranks for books, and there is six ranks of books uh, uh, in the, uh, the Sahih, which means six books of Sahih. Uh, however, doesn't mean that those books are not. I think I'll turn this up. It's kind of, I'm going yeah, I'm, I'm to turn this thing higher so you can understand it. Because I don't think you can hear it the way it is. So, I will make it louder. Make it louder. Okay, maybe you can hear it now. Correct. Muslims, they learn from them. This is why this is a very famous sheikh, the one who owned this website. His name is Al-Sha'rawi. He was one of the famous in Egypt for uh, until he died. And uh, this is why he is uh, teaching from it, because he as a scholar, he learned from ad -Durami. So in here you will see that it says that if you want to go to the to, to do poo, -poo uh, you better put your uh, turn your butt to a cover like a rock or a wall or a sand hill because if you don't do that shaitan or shayateen they will play with your anus and this is why Muslims they have to make certain prayer before they enter the bathroom otherwise shaitan play in his anus maybe he will put screwdriver now how someone who don't speak Arabic he will find this or he will learn about this or he can read it no way same same way if we if we go to different uh, story as an example in this story, supposedly, there is a guy who wanted to make fun of, uh, of uh, Miswak. An imam was making a lecture about Miswak, so he made fun of Miswak. And in the second day in the morning, uh, he found his uh, arm, arm, you know, the whole arm, like from your finger all the way to your shoulder. He found his arm, all of it, inside his anus. Now, if I don't speak Arabic, how am I going to be able to read this, those books? Uh, which those stories exist in many books so there is no way for me to be able to find them and read them and deliver them to someone else who don't speak uh. well anyway <clears throat> I tell you that Satan in Islam is quite a character by 